Hello grade nines. The purpose of this video is to explain to you how to calculate cost price, selling price and markup. So let's start off with cost price grade nines. Um, here's a formula for calculating your cost price. Uh, remember from your assignments and the various work that you've done in your um, cash payments and cash receipts journals during term one, that your markup is usually given to you in a percentage format and you use that to work out what your cost price or your selling price is. So we distinguish between a price that is in rands versus a price that is um, calculated as a percentage. So if you are asked to work out what the cost price is of something, its rand value is equal to its percentage divided by the percent of the selling price multiplied by what the rand price of the selling price is. You will invariably have been given the following information. You will probably have been given the rand of the the rand cost of your selling price, how much you earned in rands for selling your goods, and you would have been given the markups percentage. So in order to calculate the selling price percentage and the cost price percentage, you need to know the following. First of all, your cost price percentage is always, always, always represented as 100%. Your selling price percent is going to be equal to your markup plus your cost price. So your cost price is always going to be 100%. Your markup will be given to you. But let's just say, for example, you are told that your markup is 25%. That means, what does a markup mean? It means the goods that you have bought at cost price, you are going to take that cost price and you're going to add 25% so that you can make some kind of a profit. That's what your markup is. It's your profit. So let's do an example now. Let's assume that we have been given a selling price that is equal to 7,400 Rand. And this is um, an example that you did way back at the beginning of the first term, by the way. It's what from one of your assignments. So your selling price is, is 7,400 7, Rand. You've also been told that your markup percentage is 60%. Now we need to work out what is the or what was the cost price of those goods so first of all if your markup is 60 percent what is your selling price in terms of percent remembering that cost price is always 100 percent that means your selling price is going to be your cost price plus your markup in terms of percentages and it is then going to be equal to 100 plus 60 it's going to be 160 percent so now using this formula that you've been given, we are going to say our cost price is going to be equal to 100% divided by 160% and we're going to multiply that by the rand value of our selling price and we get to pause the video and quickly work it out. We get a total cost price of 4,625 rand. Another version of these problems that you might be asked to do is you might be asked to work out what the selling price in rands is of your goods. So your selling price is going to be equal to your selling price's percent divided by the cost price's percent multiplied by the cost price in rands. Okay, so let's um, just recap. Your cost price is always going to be 100%. And your selling price percent, remember, is going to be your cost price in percent plus your markup in percent. You will be given your markup in percent. So let's use another example from your cost price assignment from the first term. We have been given a cost price in RAND terms of 1,900 RAND. And we have been told that the markup percentage is 100%. And you've been asked to work out what is the selling price in rands. So first off, what we have to do is we have to go and work out what our selling price in percent is. Well, it's your cost price plus your markup. And your cost price is always 100%. Your markup, you've been told, is also 100%. That's quite a hefty markup. So your selling price is 200% of the cost price. So now... 
we're going to use this formula over here that we've been given for the selling price and we substitute in the values we've got. So our selling price is going to be equal our selling percent, which is 200%, and it is divided by our cost price percent, which is 100%, and we're going to multiply that by our cost price in rands, which is 1,900 rand. And if you pause the video, quickly go and work that out on your calculators, and you should then get a selling price of 3,800 rand. So grade nines, um, you, these two previous examples should hopefully give you an idea that these two formulae, you can summarize them into the following, where you say that your unknown rand amount is going to be equal to your unknown percent. And where I say unknown, I mean it's either selling price or cost price. So your unknown, whether it is selling price or cost price, is going to be equal to your selling price or your cost price percent divided by the known amount percent. And you're going to multiply that by the known amount in rands. Just have a look at the, the red formula and the black formula above to see what I mean when I'm talking about known, unknown rands and percents. It's exactly as we've just done in the two examples. And adding on to that, um, you need to remember that your selling price in percent is going to be equal to your markup in percent plus your cost price in percent. And you will rearrange this percentage formula to work out either what your selling price is in percent or what your cost price is in percent because you need your cost price in percent and you need your selling price in percent for both of these formulae. It is going to be a slightly different procedure for if you have been given your selling price in rands and you've been given your cost price in rands. To work out your markup in rands, it's very simply just the difference between the two because remember your markup represents your profit. Your cost price is what you have bought your goods for. Your selling price is what you are selling them for. The difference between the two is your profit or your markup. In terms of percentages, if you have to work out what your markup is in percentages, it is going to be the rand value of your markup divided by the cost price of your markup, very simply just multiplied by 100. And that's how you're going to work out the percentages. How much was your profit divided by how much did you buy your goods for multiplied by 100 and that is your markup percentage. Using an example from your assignment in the first term, let's take a cost price that has been given to us as 80,000 Rand. Let's take the selling price that has been given to us as 136,000 Rand. And I need for you to work out the markup in Rands and in percentages. So first of all, the Rand markup is easy. Your markup in Rands is as simple as your selling price less your cost price. So it is going to be 136,000 less 80,000 Rand, which is gives you an answer of 56,000 Rand. In terms of percentages, we need to then take that Rand markup of 56,000 Rand and we need to divide it by our cost price, which was 80,000 Rand. And we multiply that by 100 to get the percentage value. And that gives us a markup of 70%. And that, grade nines, is how to do cost price, markup, and selling price. Please do contact me if there's anything you are still unclear on.